in uh, Chicago this weekend, though. Yeah, he, he's in town at the moment, but he, he, di he did come to the tournament. We were all hoping he would. But here we go. The trip to the other side of bracket, losers round one. Yeah, the couple Chicago players who did manage to make it out. The boss rep and Link. I'm sorry, combo plays rep and Link. And rep in the Metroid Hunters crew. Nice. He'll throw the boomerang all day if you let him. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a tricky position to be in as Link. And see, D-Boss just let him pull the bomb there. I'm pretty sure that he could have punished that if he just kept running and grabbed or something. Yeah, D-Boss being very cautious. He's played this Link before. He knows some of its tricks, and he doesn't want to get caught by them. And like right there, you saw how he managed to hit the up air without getting hit by the bomb. He just lets the boomerang go by. Yeah, this, this is D-Boss playing even a little more cautiously than we've seen him on stream today. But he has experience in this matchup, this player, and, uh, and this character. So... Yeah, both from Chicago. Yeah, we can, we can trust him to know what caution is warranted. Because right like that, Combo Blaze gets an opening. He'll take it pretty far. Holding the bomb, what's going to happen? Okay, throws it. He just takes the variable out of that recovery. Yeah, so I uh, I want to point out that Link holding a bomb off stage is is a very delicate situation, especially if the bomb isn't fresh. Yeah, it could, it could hurt you, it could help you sometimes, right? But the big thing is that the recovery after the bomb throw is a lot longer than, than most people realize. So you can't, th you have to throw the bomb in a very specific spot in order to be able to still grab the ledge. Because if you're in recovery from the bomb throw, you won't grab it. Gotcha. So that severely limits Link's options, especially, and it makes him choose between not grabbing ledge or getting hit by his own bomb explosion a lot of the time. So if you let the if you're in the air and the bomb times out, just blows up. It, how do you know which way they'll go, left or right? Uh, Is it they random? will. No, they go backwards. They go away from the direction they're facing. Huh. Which is one of the reasons that most of the time it doesn't help because you're uh, you're facing towards the center of the stage, so you get blasted away yeah. from the stage. Neutral air to try Very to even right that. now. Combo Blaze looking a lot like D-Boss, in fact. And D-Boss looking a lot like himself, but a little more cautious. Yeah, that was a tricky spot for Link to be in. And no jump. Link has no chance there to get back. Yeah, even with a jump, he has only marginal chances. Yeah, Combo Blaze doing everything he can to make sure that he can secure the next hit. Very smart there. Low percent yeah, down right tilt to this down smash. Yeah, and that, yeah, that explosion uh, should not help him, and that will be it. Link a great wait for the bomb that. and then react. Yeah, combo nodding along, D boss pumping his fist. And I, I predict game two is more of the same. I would not be surprised to see D boss walk away from this one. Uh, but you know, I would not be surprised. Very, very close. Yeah, I would not. I would be equally unsurprised to see Combo Blaze turn it around and come up with a few more hits this game than the previous game. Now that was some pressure I can really appreciate. Using the shield push to push him backwards into the bomb explosion, just to keep the shield pressure up and secure a grab. That is Link Tech, and I love it. And again, we see D Boss not going for down airs. The D must not stand not for his, dare. That's just not his style, I guess. He doesn't down air off stage. Yeah, that's a good trade for Link, because it, it at least forced Falcon to back off and reset the neutral. And that's a win for Link. Roll towards the stage. Curious option. I think Hoppa Blaze was actually turned around, so getting hit saved it. That, uh, that down throw saved it? Yeah, I think. Divas hanging out on the top flat. Now he's yeah, there's Combo Blaze just spots. recognizing the opportunity. Capitalizing it, but not enough. Yeah, they're getting it around on the other side to make sure that he doesn't come off. Yeah, but Divas looking awfully clean. It seems so hard for Link to get good pressure on the platforms inside flat. It so really is. 
combo, mix it up with the backer on shield, but he's also still able to get out. Falcon's speed makes this not just a bad matchup, but really unpleasant to play, just because you have to keep Falcon so far away in order to keep yourself safe. Good cross up on shield. And see, he's not quite able to get anything started, even though he got that clean bomb hit, just because Link is not as fast. He's not giving D Boss a way to get in right now, though. And that that is a victory for Link. It, but it won't win a game in the long run. There's the down air. He was thinking it was going to pop him up, though, I think. Yeah, see, you can just punish that. The bomb pull after a boomerang throw? Right, or like, yeah, r r right there, like, D-Boss knew exactly where he was headed, because after you pull a bomb, your, your momentum is fixed, and you can't change where you go anymore. So he knew exactly where Combo Blaze was going to land, and that there was nothing he could do to keep the grab from landing. That will be the set, I believe. Oh no, he goes. Yeah, but it's not enough. It's never enough. Poor Lee. So Combo Blaze's journey ends here. He gives Yvonne a pat on the.